Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michael Angelo here, bringing you another video. So you guys know the vibes. Every Sunday, we do not sleep for one piece. Your boy is here for episode 1096. Cannot wait to dive in. Very excited to jump into this episode because last episode we found out something very interesting from Shaka, one of the satellites of Vegapunk, the island of Egghead. There was something like it that existed, a kingdom that existed 900 years ago that was technologically advanced, which is crazy. And uh, somebody actually brought up in the comment section, that was actually around the time that Joy Boy was around too, you know? So uh, could he have known about it? Did he help, you know, somehow develop this particular advanced kingdom? You know, I have so many questions about what's going on here because the area where Luffy, Chopper, uh, Bonnie, and Jimbe uh, ended up, the scrapyard, uh, that robot that you know they ran into is not a holo holo <laughs> as luffy would say they're actually real but very worn out and rusty you know so i have so many questions because the way shaka spoke about it he made it sound like this island is actually not from the future but actually from the past so i have so many questions as to how exactly 900 years ago were the people the civilization of that kingdom able to have such technology that was so advanced like that hopefully we'll get to find out more about that as the story continues on we also got to meet uh, the rest of the satellites of vegapunk we met edison we met uh pythagoras we also met york who i believe has the best job out of all of them eat sleep poop repeat i mean come on bro <laughs> best job ever also one thing you guys let me know uh the anime did something with sanji that they didn't do in the manga when they were fighting the s shark uh seraphim uh the way uh the s shark seraphim uh, grabbed sanji by the neck uh and then threw him that part wasn't at all in the manga you guys told me which i don't know what toy was doing in there doing your boy Sanji dirty I mean Sanji fans did not like that clearly <laughs> couldn't be my boy Zoro <laughs> I'm just messing <laughs> but I, I find it interesting why they'd add that scene in there you know like wh why you know anyway I maybe just prolong the fight I suppose you know make the seraphims look stronger than they actually are I don't know I don't know maybe you guys can let me know in the comments but uh yeah I'm super excited to jump into this episode and see how things are gonna play out so I've spoken enough without any further ado let's jump right in ああ、かつて考古学に命を懸けた男がその王国を炙り出し、それはある場所で発見された機械が製造された年代と合致する。What? That's what Robin wants to know. That's her whole dream, like to find out more about the Void Century by reading all these poneglyphs. Yeah, by the Buster call. They knew about it, huh? And the 20 kingdoms? No way. And those kingdoms are affiliated with the world government, right? I see. Just like they did Lulucia, and equally also God Valley was erased too, right? What? <laughs> Frankie, bro. It's more like a morbid story. Just like they did to Lulucia. They'll be killed. <laughs> bro 
We're like, what is that face, bro? <laughs> Sanji. Now that they know, the government is going to be going after them. I mean, they're pirates anyway, so, you know. <laughs> Usopp. Why is he hitting his head to forget? No freaking way. True. Yeah. Damn. That is the question. Clover and the others. Well, they are sending CP0 to come here and kill him, so, you know. Destroyed. あの日、Robin lived on. Which was wrong. That was not true. Oh? Oh, Clover. Oh. So he knew him? <laughs> That's how Clover looked like when he was young? No freaking way, bro. Ten times, bro? Wow. Came together, I see. Amazing. He just wanted information, man. Alvia, damn. The kingdom. So they were talking about the kingdom. Bro! No freaking way, bro! I swear I love One Piece. You see how things are connecting way back from the days of Annie's Lobby Water 7? Because that's when we found out about Robin's backstory. Freaking Spandam's father right here. Psh, asshole. Runs in the family, I guess. Um, But man, I swear, Oda's like world building and how he connects stuff is so crazy so that's what professor clover was talking about this kingdom this futuristic kingdom that existed 900 years ago that was so technologically advanced he was talking about that island that got erased no way that remain to this wow and it's true by people finding out about this yes yes they shot him yep before he could say what it was, Spandam's father. Damn. Damn. That's why they decided to wipe it off the map. Bro. I can't believe it, man. Oh, poor Robin. Re reliving this backstory. Wait. What the hell is with this long ass hair, bro? So is this the real Vegapunk that came to Ohara after it was destroyed? Even the tree of knowledge was burned to the ground. Bro has a crazy hair. Is that what he looks like? Hold up, I kind of see that they've kind of made it a silhouette, but bro has a long ass tongue too. What the heck, bro? 
Is this actually what he looks like? It's not actually his hair that's so long. It's his head. His head is that huge, bro. Must be that big ass brain he's got in there, bro. What the hell? All the books. Yeah, I remember they were trying to salvage all the books by throwing them into the water so they didn't burn. I remember. I remember, yeah. Did he take all of them? Yeah, the knowledge still remains. No way. Olvia. Saul! Seeing this again is so sad. Robin's backstory is so sad, bro. One of the saddest backstories out of all the Straw Hats, bro. It's up there with Choppers. It's up there with Namis. Like, bro. Oh, Robin. <laughs> wow. She's happy though. Vegapunk. Anata no yosodori. Ohara wa okoku abaita wa. Oh my god. Dewa jijitsu. That's why they were taken off the map. Please tell me you made copies, Vegapunk. Please tell me. Okay. So what did you do? Huh? Dragon! That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Oh my god! The Revolutionary Army? Did they take them? Bro, this episode is so good. So much information. I'm getting excited, bro. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Docking it. Oh, they're about to combine. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> they're just having their moment, Bonnie. Don't you mind them. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Balloon. Wow, chopper too. Far pointer. Nice. <laughs> For no reason at all. Autonomous. A robot activate? I don't think it's voice activated. Robo Robonosuke? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> A Robotaro. Miracle. Robo Ace? Robo Sabo? <laughs> it's been rusty for years, bro. I don't think it still works. No way. What the hell is happening? Did one of the names work? Wait, is there somebody stuck in there? There's somebody in there. Quasar? 
Wait a second. Is it Vegapunk? The real Vegapunk? Maybe space time distorted what? Oh my god! It's, is it the real Vegapunk? Or maybe not. It's Vegapunk! The long tongue? But his head is a little smaller than what we saw in that flashback at Ohara, though. <laughs> He's messing with space time? Is it him? It's him! <laughs> like how you were stuck to the dragon? Yeah, there you have a funk hazard. Oh, got him. It's got to be the real Vegapunk. Even Bonnie knows. Is that an apple on his head? With a branch? Wow, he already knows. Uh-oh. She wants a piece of him. Finally, we've gotten to see the real one. This has got to be the real Vegapunk. I'm curious, though. His dome looks a little smaller. I mean, is it because he separated himself into six people? Or why? Luffy can do it too. <laughs> On the side. Okay. There it is. <laughs> nice. So cool, bro. Quesa? What does that mean? Dr. Vegapunk. Man with the best brain in the world. So it finally, bro, we've seen the real Vegapunk. So that's what he looks like. Wow. Finally, bro! After it, bro, after 1095 episodes, right? Because that's how we're. Finally, we get to see the real Vegapunk. Finally. Leader of the Navy Special Science Group. Ah! Great episode. Great episode, bro. All right. Let's see what Chopper and the crew have for us at the end here. Sure can, Robin. <sighs> Love this OSC. Oh, Saul, the goat. Who's on Frozen, though? Dad, she, 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 she. Loved his laugh, bro. Lilith? Why? <laughs> Why, Lilith? Why? <laughs> okay. Man, I gotta say, this was such a good episode. You know, it, it didn't have like any action to it or anything, but the lore. You just gotta love the lore piece, as you guys call it sometimes in the comment section. Who would have thought that the same kingdom that Ohara and Professor Clover and all of them discovered that was rebelling against the government and going up against the government would be the same one we just found out right here from Shaka that was technologically advanced 900 years ago 
you know, and was going up against the 20 kingdoms, you know, that later on became the world government, man. Like, bro, that's crazy. That's the reason why Ohara was destroyed in the first place with the Buster Call, you know, because they found out and knew too much. But I never would have thought that Vegapunk would have come to the island. And moreover, I never would have expected that Dragon of all people would come to the island and salvage all the books that were thrown into the, you know, into the water. By the remaining archaeologists of Ohara were trying to salvage all the knowledge, bro. That's insane to me dragon yet again you know like bro he's been making so many appearances and you know in the last couple of episodes like it's so cool to see a lot of dragon man you love to see it but um at least now we finally like i said after 1095 episodes have seen the real vegapunk his dome like i said compared to the flashback that we saw looks a lot smaller than it was in the silhouette that we saw him when he was on ohara you know which my guess is probably like he, because he split himself into six maybe he made you know it became small I don't know, you know, I don't know, but finally, finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have met the real Vegapunk, man, and he's a goofball. You just love to see it, man. Oh, this episode was so good. Really mind-blowing as well. Oh, yo, I really, I really don't know. I don't know what to say at this point. I can't wait for that. If, if the next episode is more lore, I'm here for it, you know? We can save all the action for maybe like a couple of episodes later. I don't care, bro. I, I love the lore every time we get it in one of these One Piece episodes. It's so good, man. Too, too good. But uh, yeah, man, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts of this episode? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy my reaction as well? Let's talk in the comments. Until then, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give it your thumbs up for the hype of One Piece. This was a fantastic episode. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. You can also feel free to become a Patreon or a channel member by clicking the link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy. And you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me a favor. Take care of each other. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next time.